hello students welcome to my youtube channel and topic we are going to discuss today is the chapter migration trains and students if you haven't subscribed my channel then please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for the further updates now let us move on to the point what is migration now migration also refers to the movement of animals birds and marine animals move move from place to place seasonal in search of food and shelter but here in this chapter we are going to discuss about the human migration means the movement of people from one place to another with the intention of settling down permanently or temporarily at new geographic locations now students we need to clear some of the concepts of migration first con Con, uh, like concept migration which we have already discussed now who is a migrant person means the person who is leaving the birthplace and arriving into some new geographic location or the place of immigration where his population will be counted now out migration and in migration is very simple person leaving the birthplace out migration arriving into some new area is in migration now commutative commutation now the people move from rural areas to the city areas on the daily basis in order to earn their livelihood now some of the migration also happens from rural areas to the town and from the town to the city now this kind of movement of people is known as stepwise migration migration is a very important factor in the distribution of population because the out migrating area there will be decrease in population and there will be increase in population in the in migrating areas now migration and the census of india now along with the other things migration is also taken into an account while collecting the census here is an example of 2011 movement of people between different states in fact migration was recorded in the first indian census of 1881 which was based on the place of birth now in 1961 modifications was made including the place of birth and the duration of residence if born elsewhere in 1971 further modification was made on the place of last residence and duration of stay at the place of enumeration and in 1981 further uh, modification was made on the reason for migration and many modifications has been made in the consecutive census now two main important questions are asked during the census enumeration now the first question is is the person born in this village or town if it is yes then the counting will be done on the place of birth if no then further information will be taken like whether the place of birth was rural or urban name of the district state if it is outside india the name of the country the second question is has the person come to this village or town from elsewhere if yes then further questions will be asked from where he where he was the last resident or the it was rural or urban and the name of the district or state if it is outside india then the name of the country will be asked census or the enumeration of census in india it's based on two place of birth and place of residence place of birth is different from the place of enumeration then it is known as lifetime migrant if the place of resident is different from the place of enumeration known as migrant by place to make it more simple you can see here a person whose place of birth is different from his place of enumeration that is where she or he was counted during the census is lifetime migra migrant and migrant by last resident is the person of last a uh, residence differ from the place of enumeration means during the census day he or she was present in that particular place which may not be where he or she usually lives it is called migrant by last resident so student few terms are also there we should know like place of origin means where the migrant originated place of destination where the migrant is arriving another one the same person is also termed as out migrant in the place of origin and the same person is termed as in migrant in the place of destination in case if the place uh, the migration is occurring across the borders then it is termed as immigration if it is leaving the native country and the in migration in the arriving country 
However, migration is also classified on the basis of cause, distance and duration of time. Uh, on the basis of cause, it is economic and social. On the basis of distance, it is long distance and short distance. And on the basis of duration of time, it is short duration and long duration. So students, we will end our discussions here today. And in the next video, I will be discussing on the same chapter with other topics. And if you like the video, then please press the like button, share the video, do leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the next update. Thanks for watching.